and welcome everybody back to another Flight Sim Fan video. Uh, today, this is my third time making an OpenXR uh, video on how to set it up. Uh, they keep changing it, so this is the third update of this. Uh, it's actually a lot easier now than before than it already was. So if you did it the last way, where you had the um, composite tool and you'd switch it from Steam VR to OpenXR, you can go back and set that to Steam VR and then uninstall that. Because now all you got to do, if you're on the beta version of DCS, is, and we're going to do this with multi-threading as well, is first find um, the location of your DCS EXE. For me, I already made a shortcut, but if you don't know where it is, you file explorer, this PC. For me, it's on my D drive. I'm going to have to clear that. I just saw that today. But for me, it's on your D drive. It might be on your C drive, but it'll be for me, D drive, DCS world. If you don't have it set like this, it'd probably be in C drive, program files, Eagle Dynamics, and then DCS world. So D drive, DCS, it'll bring you to something like this. And you have a bin, bin dash MT. I'm actually going to go to the bin. And I'm going to delete this. But I have DCS right here. I'm going to right click. Show more. I'm on Windows 11, by the way. And you should have a create shortcut option if I do that properly. There we go. Create shortcut. So I would create the shortcut. It'd make another one here, as you saw that one I deleted. And then you'd click and drag. I first like to have it on my desktop. Once you've brought it to your desktop, you're going to right click this. Show more options properties and it you're gonna have to change the target it's gonna look well for me again it's the D drive yours will say C DCS world bait bin then I added dash MT I just simply I just simply typed you know dash MT I don't work there but I typed dash MT okay left the slash in there and then added force enable VR force open XR Okay, so I'll write, I'll copy and paste this in the description. You can just copy this all. Just change D to C if you have a C drive. And then for me as well, start in DCS World Open Beta slash bin hyphen MT. Because I want multi-threading. That's what MT is, multi-threading. Again, I'll copy both of these in the description for you guys. You could just throw them in there. Just make sure if you're on a C drive, it's on the C. If you're on an A drive, whatever you've titled it, you know, it'll be there. Okay, so I'll even have it in a comment of what it kind of looks like. So you press apply, you press OK, and now um, it uses OpenXR without the composite. You don't have to do that anymore uh, because OpenXR is built into DCS. They did some the Eagle Dynamics uh, built it in there now, so you can use it kind of like kind of like someone would use Steam VR. But now I just I, all I gotta do is press DCS, everything opens up. Uh, and your OpenXR toolkit still works as well inside DCS. Okay, so I hope that helped. I'll put the, the uh, in the description the um, target and start in. I'm also going to link the, the a Discord you can reach me at if you need any help, and I'll also link the VR DCS Discord as well. Uh, if I can't help, they they can definitely help as well. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.